What's up, fight fans? Main man, me man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing, man. What up to the fam? And what up to everyone in main man, me man's boxing for? Hey, look, man. So the thing is this. Make it make sense, Lomachenko Nation. According to boxing reporter Michael Benson, he is now reporting that Basil Lomachenko's manager, Aegis Klimas, has now came out and stated that Basil Lomachenko is not possibly facing Javante Davis this year. And he stated also that, you know, just right now, Lomachenko is just not in the mood. And it's not just about the money. That's not the only thing that motivates him. You know, when I hear Aegis Klimas say this, fight fans, the only thing that I hear is quack, quack, quack. Lomachenko fans, y'all have poured up in here like lemonade telling me that, yo, Main man, Javante Davis don't want no smoke with Loma. He ducked Loma. Oh, Loma, Loma scared Tank and blah, 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 blah. Well, make this make sense. He's not in the mood? What you mean he's not in the mood? It sounds to me, fight fans, the man don't want to lose. I mean, we know he lost to Devin Haney. And he doesn't want to turn around and lose to Javante Davis because when that happens, it may spell Fanito. Hey, look, it's not like he said no. He is saying that, look, I, 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 they don't want to do it until the end of the year. So maybe Javante Davis might oblige that. He might give a little, just a little bit of ground with that and say, you know what? I'll wait for y'all till the end of the year. And what? But y'all going to come up with something else? Don't move the goalposts if Javante Davis and his team come out and say, you know what? We down the way to the end of the year. We'll, we'll wait all the way up until December. If you want to do it, let's do it. And if they call that bluff and y'all still don't do it, duck, duck, duck. You know what I'm saying? Then if y'all don't face Javante Davis next, then, I mean, what the hell y'all going to want to do? Technically, Javante Davis is the biggest fight in your orbit. You're not going to make as much money with no one else. It's going to be the biggest pay-per-view fight of your career. Why are you prolonging it? I mean, if you want to go spend time with family and all of this... Like, yeah, you got a lot of time to do that after the Javante Davis fight. You know what I'm saying? It's not like Vasil Lomachenko has been the most super active fighter, fight fans. So for him to, and his manager coming out and say, hey, they want to stop and pause right now. It's like, bro, you got nothing bigger. The tank is the biggest thing in your orbit. It don't make sense. Why prolong it? You know what I'm saying? What if something go wrong with, with Vasil Lomachenko? What if he get injured? You know what I mean? What if anything goes wrong? I mean, what is he just like saving this last payday to the end? Yo, this is a big deal. They're doing a cross promotion and everything. ESPN and PBC and Amazon. If it's big enough to do cross promotion, that means it's ready to go. Don't make sense. See, back then, Tank was a young little pup that he could have took advantage of. You know, he had Floyd standing right there beside him. It would have looked great for Vasil Lomachenko to have beat the young green Tank, but now that Tank is matured, a grown man, he's got that one shot knockout power, he ain't playing with people walking through these fighters, you know what I'm saying? Now Vasil Lomachenko is like, you know what? <laughs> I'm just not in the mood. What? You know what I mean? Don't make no sense, fight fans. And I think the narrative about Javante Davis not wanting to face Vasil Lomachenko has officially became unalive. Um, it's a, it's a wrap because it's this is the most recent thing in, in memory. And it looked like Vasil Lomachenko is moonwalking away, man. He don't want no smoke. I, I mean, this is insane, though. So, and uh, we'll see what happens for Javante Davis next. I mean, look, if Javante Davis ends up facing Isaac Pitbull Cruz for the second time, and if Zoc, if Isaac Cruz is successful against in this next fight uh, on August the third, and Javante Davis ain't got nobody to fight, clearly Shakur Stevenson's deal is still up in the air. He ain't made no decision. Vasil Lomachenko is not in the mood, you know what I mean? Devin Haney is on the side of a milk carton. Nobody ain't seen him. Uh, you know, he said he ain't going to be seen again for another year. So, I mean, don't blame Javante Davis if he ends up doing that he's out Pitbull Cruz rematch, fight fans. And truth be told, you will have to ask yourself, is it at this point worth it? Because he's out Cruz now is a champion. Beat Roley Romero, right? You know what I'm saying? But he's out Pitbull Cruz is a champion. And um, if he beats this next fight against Rayo, and then, which is a, a notable name, I think that people will start to look at it and say, you know what? That dimension, he's up at 140 pounds, so he's kind of bigger. He's filled in a bit more. People may say they may want to see that. The question is, what weight class would that be in? I mean, Javante Davis is still the A-side. He may say, oh, Isaac Pitbull Cruz to come on back down and wait. 
my deal is is he wrong or is he right i mean for a catch weight it would be kind of corny because they both got belts you know what i'm saying they need to be fighting you know at least for you know a belt on the line belt can't be on the line at a catch weight so it is what it is but i am very very disappointed man I am very, very disappointed in Vasil Lomachenko because I thought that this was the fight that he always wanted. I thought that this is the fight that a lot of his fans say that he pressured Tank, you know, when he was young, you know what I'm saying? So I don't get it. You know, he don't want to fight Shakur Stevenson. He got out of the way of Shakur. And now we're seeing the same thing with Javante Davis. So my deal is, listen, if you want to take some time off away from the fight game, man, listen, it is what it is. He's a supposed aging veteran, you know what I'm saying? So. Maybe he want to take some time off and come back some time next year, try to get one last payday or prolong his career in that aspect. But don't come back and fight in the bump. If Vasil Lomachenko comes back and we hear about him fighting some cat we ain't even checking for, man, that's going to be a problem. You know what I mean? It's going to look like he straight up duck, duck, goosed Javante Tank Davis. This is insane, bro. I had never thought that Javante Davis would make Vasil Lomachenko not be in the mood. Keep in mind, it is the biggest payday, oh. His, his, his manager, which, come on, bro, we know managers, all they talk is money. Oh, it's not all about the money. You know, it could be about other things. Well, listen, I hope he's not talking no A-side tactics because at the end of the day, Javante Davis is still the A-side. Ain't no fights going over to no Ukraine. Ain't no fights going to no other places like that. You know, they come in either to Baltimore or on the East Coast or wherever Javante Davis wants to fight. Simple as that, you know what I mean? If you, some may think that this still is a plea for money, even though he's saying it ain't about money. Maybe they do want to do this and stretch this out for more bread. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? We just truly don't know behind closed doors what's really going on. But all I do know is this not in a mood crap. Don't pass the smell test. Sounds like a duck, homie. Simple as that. Thumbs up on the way out. If you didn't hit it on the way in, share, share, share. Rock the bells. Y'all Lomachenko fans, boy. Y'all got absolutely nothing to the next video. And I see y'all soon. Peace out.